Okay, so my Orion short 80 millimeter refractor came in. It's an F5 400 millimeter focal length telescope. Now a lot of guys use these things as um, as guide scopes. They got a lot more money than I do, um, or they decided to spend a lot more on telescopes and equipment. But I'm using this as uh, as my primary telescope for astrophotography rather than a guide scope and that's a good budget idea uh, first off uh, you get this carrying case which is really convenient it's got a velcro here with padding for the telescope some accessory um, pouch there uh, you get this front zip up space got a shoulder strap. <clears throat> you get all the eyepiece caps and covers and everything. I'm not going to show all those, but and this is the primary uh, lens cap. And you can screw this off to stop it down or put a solar filter, that sort of thing in there. That's good. Um, it's got a huge finder. It's a crosshair. 8 by 40 it's nice um, I'm not a big fan of these kind that use the screw locks uh, for adjustment I just I don't like it uh, still don't but this is the best one I've used so I'll give it that uh, you get two brings and uh, there's a piggyback for a camera you want to put a DSLR on there it's dovetailed Pretty nice size dovetail, uh, works pretty good. You get this 90 millimeter um, diagonal, it's decent, it's not high grade, high quality. But um, it's an aluminum focuser, it's not the cheap plastic type, it's actually pretty good. Um, you've got a, a lock here to lock the focuser in position, say if you're focused on stars and that sort of thing that's really good to have um, you don't see that all the time uh, as far as the quality of the lens goes it's pretty good it's fully multi coated too um, and you see it's recessed quite a bit that's good for um, fight and do and that sort of thing so it kind of works as a as a dew shield also uh, two eyepieces with it the uh, nine millimeter and the 20 millimeter expanse and their 66 degree field of view they're actually pretty good uh, I like them uh, that was a nice plus I didn't expect to get anything decent in terms of eyepieces with a, a telescope but, and I think I forgot to mention this is an ST80A package they got a ST80T for terrestrial a little bit different I have a video talking about that you go to Orion's website and they have the actual company uh, affiliated review on it. Um, I just want to show you a little hands-on my experience with it. Is. It's nice. I, I like it. Uh, for the money, I'm putting it in the budget range. And like I said, a lot of guys use these as guide scopes, not primaries, but um, I'll show you uh, at the end of this video a photograph of the moon that I took with uh, a Canon DSLR it's a 1000D or also known as the XS and you can you can see exactly uh, the kind of image quality that can be obtained um, just by amateurs I really uh, really like this thing it's, it's lightweight too it's under uh, I think it's right around 5 pounds so it doesn't put a lot of strain on your, your mounting system um, I use this with uh, my next Star 4 SE mount. Uh, it actually works. The uh, dovetail matches really well. Um, they don't tell Celestron or Orion that. They probably get mad. <laughs> but uh, I really like it. Uh, something I need to note here is I try to use a Barlow to get 800 millimeter out of this guy two times Barlow and I couldn't focus on the moon um, 
So I had to go out and buy this uh, 1.25 extension tube. It gives you two inches of extra back focus. And once I install that, uh, I can achieve a 800 millimeter focus. Uh, without it, I couldn't do it. Uh, I should do a video and show you a demonstration of that, but a lot of times telescopes, uh, you, when you get into astrophotography, you got a camera attached, you won't be able to focus out enough to, uh, to get sharp focus. And uh, this is one of those cases, so if you go out and buy this thing and you plan on doing astro work with it, just bear in mind that you're going to need, uh, need this guy. And uh, it's cheap. It's uh, I got this one brand new for under 15, so not too bad. But overall impression, I uh, really like it. And I just wanted to show it to you guys. And uh, here's my shot of the moon. Hope you enjoy that. Clear skies.